It's Bonnie. Happy Wednesday. Oh my goodness, you guys. I am in a spring mood today. So I'm going to be reviewing some of these new scents for you guys today, including Hibiscus Paradise that just came out. It is online right now. They do have a lot more of the pieces in store. So right now online, um, I believe we have, we just, you know what we just got online? Um, the perfume, um, the little travel size one, but they have the shower gel, the body cream, the mist, and the moisturizing body wash. They don't even have the lotion um, online. I actually bought that in the store the other day. So the, there's going to be everything in this entire collection. I mean, I'm sure we'll, I think I even saw the scrub. We're going to get the scrub. This is like one of those big uh, lines for spring, kind of like you're the one was for Christmas. Big Big spring line. Um, so what I'm going to do is I've been wearing this all morning. Oh my gosh, it's really nice, you guys. Um, I'm going to compare it to coconut hibiscus. Hibiscus guava fresca. <laughs> we have a lot of hibiscus here at the beach. And I brought out my live fresh, too. Um, and then actually, what's really funny is for some reason, when I first got hibiscus paradise... I was thinking that it was um, maybe similar to this one. I couldn't remember what this one was. This is Magnolia. It is not hibiscus. I just remember the flowers on here, and I was like, what the heck? Remember these from last Mother's Day? These are so pretty, these aromatherapy jars. Um, oops. So, the new Hibiscus Paradise, I love the packaging, by the way. There's something really delightful about these brushed copper um, lids. You get one on the lotion, and then we have it on the shower, I mean, the fine fragrance mist. I love a nice, like, lid. You know, I don't like the plain silver. Give me something a little bit special. <laughs> I don't know why. That's like a, a nice upgrade. So Hibiscus Paradise is... Pink hibiscus, juicy guava, sun-kissed coconut. Um, it says, embark on a journey to the tropics where the warmth of the sun and the brightness of exotic florals evoke tranquil days in paradise. Exotic, carefree, and warm. I was kind of wondering about this. That's why I brought out hibiscus guava fresca, because they both have guava in them. I'm like, how interesting is that? Um... I was not expecting um, what I got once I used this one. So what I expected was a, a really floral, powdery scent, or I expected after I read the scent notes, something a little bit more like hibiscus guava fresca. This is actually, believe it or not, more beachy. I was really surprised at how beachy this one smells. I mean, we're talking like at the beach. <laughs> So at the beach is actually white frangipani blossoms, toasted coconut, bergamot waters, sun uh, sea salt breeze, and sun-kissed musk. Um, and then remember we had um, the uh, in the waves and in the sun. Was it in the waves? I can't remember. I just had that one. Um, at the beach is definitely a little bit more beachy. And that's what I feel Hibiscus Paradise is. There is a almost even stronger than at the beach. Remember in the sun? I couldn't find my in the sun one. <laughs> like at the beach, in the sun, in the waves. <laughs> like they're all beachy. Um, there is a distinct suntan um, lotion element to this one that's not really mentioned in the notes. Oddly, I don't even smell coconut in this one. This one to me does not smell like coconut. So the sun gives coconut... I'm not sure. I think um, a sea salt mist or like a sun-kissed musk would have been a better uh, description. Um, I'm not really even smelling the juicy guava as much. I'm smelling more of like the hibiscus and the suntan lotion, which is really interesting. I feel like the scent notes were a little bit different on that one. Coconut hibiscus, on the other hand, um, you really get the coconut and the floral in this one. This one is definitely like a coconut floral, which is completely different than um, the Hibiscus Paradise. Um, I got it on my lip there. <laughs> now, the Hibiscus Guava Fresca is actually 
a tropical blend of Acapulco hibiscus. I don't know the difference between Acapulco and regular hibiscus. Um, fresh guava, grapefruit, um, grapefruit agua fresca, beach iris, sea salt driftwood. There's a lot of scent notes in this one. I just happened to look this one up online because I didn't have them on the back here. Um, this is a great scent. This always shows up like at semi-annual sale. This one is really got a lot of guava in it. This one is like pure fruity, a little bit of floral. Um, I'd also brought out Live Fresh. Live Fresh was coconut water, juicy nectarine, beach blossoms, fresh air, and sun-kissed musk. And the reason I brought out Live Fresh is because of that sun-kissed musk scent, which I think may have a little bit of element in the hibiscus uh, paradise. I don't know. There's something that's, a, like I said, there's like a suntan element in this one. Like I said, I like it. Um, it smells very summery. I would not call this a straight on floral though. It smells very tropical. So do you know what it smells like? Not that I've ever been there. However, it feels almost like what you would smell if you were like outdoors in Hawaii on the beach in like a um, cabana or something, you know, like a wooden, like, I don't know. I get like a driftwood set <laughs> that doesn't really make no sense whatsoever. It's like, what are you talking about? Buddy? <laughs> if I could imagine like what this smells like, it almost smells like you're in some sort of like Hawaiian floral outdoor structure that's made of wood. <laughs> so you kind of get like that sea smell. You get maybe like a suntan smell. You get a little bit of like driftwood and you get like a hint of floral, but it's not like overwhelming floral. The floral is like kind of um, like the, the, the third note. <laughs> So the spray, I've been actually wearing the spray. This one is a little bit sweeter in the spray. I feel like I get more of that driftwood, sun tan, ocean scent in the cream. But in the spray, I feel like it's a little bit more I'm getting that juicy guava, which is really interesting to me because sometimes you do get different different things going on. But I get a little bit more of the juicy guava, I think, in the mist. And then um, the lotion is actually, it, the lotion's very nice. It's quite strong. I really like the lotion. I think the lotion is one of the prettiest uh, pieces. I don't know why. I really like this pink label on the lotion. It feels light and summery because a lot of times you don't want the heavy cream in the summer. I really like the lotions in the summer. Um, so overall, um, I'm going to give this like a 9.5 out of 10. It does have really nice lasting power. That's the thing. Like I put it on this morning. I've been wearing it all day and I'm like, wow, this smells really, really good. And it's lasting. Um, so I think it's a great addition to the spring line. I think a lot of people are going to love this one because it's not like straight ocean. It's not straight floral. It's kind of like a hybrid. So anyway, I'm giving this one what did I say? 9.4 or 9.5? <laughs> we'll go with 9.5. I love it. So anyway, if you've gotten it, let me know what you think. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.